Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, Antonelli here. Hey, what's going on, everyone? How we doing? Man, Antonelli here. So today we're looking at Jesse Harper again. I've thrown up a bunch of her videos, but um, I'm trying to pick different aspects of her swing to look at. On this one, what we're going to look at is a ball that's thrown outer part of the plate. And she hammers this thing for a home run. That ball might even be off the plate. And so, um, one, really impressive to have plate coverage, to be able to cover that ball. And not only cover a ball that, I know this angle is a little bit off, but not only cover a ball that's right on the edge of the plate, or maybe even a little bit off, but to be able to hit this ball out of the park, to be able to drive this ball is so impressive. Now she, you know, she has a ton of power. She's one of the top home run hitters in all of uh, college softball. Um, but any time that someone is able to hit a ball to the opposite field and be able to drive it that way, whether it's doubles or home runs, always gets my attention because not a lot of hitters can do it. Some hitters can drive the ball to the pull side. Very few hitters can drive the ball to the opposite field. And so when, you're, when someone can do that, then in my mind, there's really positive things going on in their swing that are allowing them to do that. Right? A lot of times people say, oh, they're so, look at, they're big and strong, right? Strength definitely has something to do with it. But I've seen plenty of hitters that are strong but can't hit the ball hard and a long ways to the opposite field. They can pull the ball a mile, but they can't drive the ball the other way. And so let me just show a couple of things that she's doing that are really impressive. The first thing is she's what I, I call, you know, most people say staying on the ball. But what does staying on the ball mean? So a couple of things. First thing, if you just look at her posture, right? So when she lands there, if we just draw her spine, right, slightly over the plate, right? A couple of keys we usually tell our hitters that I want to feel like I get my butt back behind my heels, right? When I get my butt back behind my heels, my chest is going to get slightly over the plate. So you can see her spine slightly over the plate, right? Now, from this position, I need to be able to, when I start to turn, so here comes my leg turning, I need to be able to stay in that position, right? So if you see her spine is basically in the exact same spot, right? And so I see two things happen, especially at younger levels. One, hitters never get into this position. So instead of being in this position... Their spine is always kind of straight up and down like this. And it makes it really difficult if you're straight up and down to be able to stay on this outside pitch. The more the ball is away from you or down, the more that you're going to have to be whoops, over the plate with your spine. If the ball is in and up, you don't have to be. You, you can hit a ball inside and up really vertical. But you can't hit a ball way out here with a vertical spine. You have to be over the plate. Okay? So, one, getting into this position. Two, let's make it let's make it let's make it green since she's got a red jersey. Okay? So that's one, getting into that position. Two, staying in that position. Another thing I see a lot is hitters will get into position, but then they'll come out of that position, right? They'll come up and off the ball. You've heard that all the time. You know, you're, you're pulling off the ball. Stay on the ball. So their upper body will just want to rip this way. So they just take this, this left shoulder, and they pull hard to the left with their upper body. And if I just pull hard with my upper body to the left, well, then my barrel gets away from me, and then it cuts across this way. And if the ball is moving here, I can't have a barrel that wants to come that way. I'll never drive it to the other the opposite field. I'll probably roll over to the shortstop or to the third baseman. And so if the ball is here, I need to attack that ball from the inside that way. That's how I drive it. And so you can see her barrel. Right? One, she doesn't pull hard off the ball. She stays over the plate. But two, you can see her barrel working from the inside. So we always say work from the inside out. 
Now, it's not sometimes people hear that and they think, oh, just try to hit ground balls and just fillet the ball out to right field. No, no, no. I'm trying to drive the ball, but I'm swinging from the inside. I'm swinging out away from my body, not across my body. Most hitters swing across their body. They pull hard with their upper body, their barrel goes out here, and then they cut across the zone. So they're always around the ball. They're always hitting the outside of the ball. They're always, that's why most hitters, most hitters will pull the ball, no matter where the ball is. If I want to hit that ball, I have to be from the inside. I have to swing away, outside. Or I have to swing from in to out. I have to swing out from my body. So right here. See how that barrel's working from in, boom, to out. In to out. She's releasing the barrel there. It's always in. If we had a different angle, if we were over here, that barrel would be coming right off her shoulder. Like right off the side of her, her arm from the inside, right? And look how she stays on it. She's not pulling off this way. She's staying over the plate and on the ball. That's how you drive this thing. Boom. That's how you drive it way out of the park. I don't even have the, the film doesn't even go far enough, but way out of the park. It's against Team USA. Bang. That's really hard to do. So I need to stay over the plate. I have to get in good posture, stay over the plate. I have to stay there as I'm turning the hit. And I need to work my barrel from the inside. Now we have a lot of other videos that kind of break down exactly how to do this. But I just want to show you, here's a great, great hitter doing it. Those are the keys to being able to drive the ball the opposite field. Being strong is great too. But you need to have the swing. You need to have the mechanics. Your body's got to move in the right manner in the right way to be able to do it. So hopefully that helps you out. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. You can also email me, matt at antonellibaseball.com. Um... Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you get all of our videos. We're going to start putting out a lot more videos here in the near future. Um, hit the thumbs up, all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you later.